Hey everyone, thank you for joining Fish Devotees. I'm Louisa. I'm going to be showing you how I changed my 10 gallon removal tank to what you see back here, which is a 20 gallon long. I don't know about you, but I always wonder if I can change a regular tank and do a bit of DIY. And that's exactly what I did. Because nowadays, all the tanks seem to come ready and equipped for you, which is great. But I want to do a little something a little bit cheaper and, you know, a little more unique. So stay tuned to see what I did. Okay, to start off, what I did was I bought a frame from IKEA called Best, as you see right here, which I posted a picture of it. Original price is $75. Thankfully, I found it at the uh, clearance section and I got it for $45, which is an amazing deal. So the next thing I decided to do was reinforce the frame. On the website, IKEA says 110 pounds, which of course having 20 gallon long would be more than 200 pounds. So I bought some wood at Home Depot and from there I decided to paint it white. I had some leftover white paint from painting my room, so got a little lucky there as well. As you can see, I'm measuring the wood right now because I wanted to put it right in the middle for both pieces. I have three pieces in total, so I decided to put one right where you see right there in the middle on the left side. One on the right side in the middle and then the other one is going to be supporting the middle piece that already came with the frame. Now for the sections that I have for the frame, I decided to buy a Lenart drawer unit also from Ikea. This one I got a regular price, $14.99. This Lenart piece does not take very long to build. It took me about 5 to 10 minutes. It's really easy. The instructions are quite easy and I decided for this that I was going to put some of my equipment in it. As you can see in this picture, I put the Lenart drawer unit on the far left side. And then in the middle, I don't really have a plan for that at the moment. And then I put my RODI reservoir right on the other side and then the filter floss. So on the Lenart, I decided to put the food at the top. In the middle, I have my testing equipment. Not too sure what you guys think I should do for the other section. So if you have any ideas, comment below. So the next step was to bring down the 10 gallon down to the floor so I can put the 20 gallon on top and that's exactly what I'm doing there. Oh, I um, sometimes forget what I'm doing at times, so yeah. I ended up taking 80% out of the water from the 10 gallon just so I can bring it down. So before I put the 20 gallon on top, I actually bought another piece of wood just to reinforce the top part, which I also painted white. I'm not too sure if you can see the separation, but it's very thin. It's about an inch in thickness, and I put it there before putting the 20 gallon. This piece of wood, I actually also painted it with the remaining paint I had. Now that we can see the 20 gallon, you see that there's a black section at the back. That's a back chamber that I did myself. I bought two pieces of, well, two sheets of acrylic one black one clear um, they actually cut it there for you but i gave them the wrong dimension so i ended up having to cut a little from both the clear one and the black one and then from there i just measured it was about two and a half inches um from depth as you can see now i drilled holes on the um the panels i put six in each uh, the top ones were a bit wider than the bottom ones so since the pressure from the inside and the outside will be relatively the same, I decided to silicone it instead of cementing it, just so that in case down the road in the future I decide to change it up, I still have that option. So what I decided to do next was to put a window film on the back of the tank just to cover up a little bit of the uh, wires. I actually got this idea off of uh, Joey from DIY King. And... I mean, you can get these from eBay or anywhere, really. They're relatively cheap. I got it for around a dollar, a dollar fifty. And so it's pretty good. And finally, filling up the tank. So I used Live Rock from my previous tank from the 10 gallon. I used brand new Live Sand. I did not want to transfer the old sand to this one. Then I also used some filter media I already had and Stability by C Cam not sponsored by the way i use that one just so that to speed up the process a little bit
And that is all, guys. So thank you for joining Fish Devotees. Stay tuned until the next one.